Queen Elizabeth is famously known for her love of corgis, and I just sat down with Nat Geo Wild's Dr. Jan Pohl to find out why they're a canine breed fit for a royal. Take a look. We are joined by the star of Nat Geo Wild's number one series, the incredible Dr. Pohl. Welcome, Dr. Jan Pohl. Well, thanks very much for having me again. Wonderful Jill. to have you back. Yes. It's great to see you. you're looking well. Thank you. I'm and, trying to And stay we have clean. a new friend because you're yes. a world renowned vet, and the Queen of England has a favorite breed of dog called Corgi, and you brought one with you today. Yes, this is Fig. She's a 10 month old Corgi, very active. Very friendly oh, and she's, very nosy. She's very Sit. alert too. She oh, looks this. like she wants to go explore. Yes. And Queen Elizabeth has been a fan of corgis for years, ever since her childhood corgi that she owned named Dookie. Yeah. Now, would you say that corgis are good with kids? Because she had one since she was a child. Yes. Uh, these are herding animals. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, herding animals are very good with kids, and actually, they watch kids. And good with dogs too, or many times, yes. But th that all depends what other dogs are. Right. You know, they can be very aggressive for other dogs if they think there is danger for the kids. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. She, it seems like she's sensing danger right now. She was no, very quiet before we started. No, she's just nosy. She just wants to see what's going on behind. <laughs> well, you've treated many corgis, and Queen Elizabeth owned more than 30 in her lifetime. What would you say makes a corgi a breed fit for a royal? Uh, nothing. Say, everybody looks for a dog that fits their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, corgis are very smart and, you know, very determined. <laughs> Sure. So I think that fits the queen. Absolutely. They you know? always look like they're smiling. I'd say they're yeah, always they're camera that, ready. But, but they are smart mm -hmm. and determined and also the queen of England. Now, are corgis lap dogs? They're small enough. You, they're small enough to be lap dogs, but most of the time they're too busy just running around, right, because doing things. Natural herders, natural you said. Herder so they would be around. following the queen around the palace, I guess. Oh, definitely. Room to room. Yes. That would be pretty nice. Yeah. Well, the queen has stopped her corgi collection According, I guess for old age, you know, that sounds pretty selfless to me. Yeah, and still, <laughs> fake, quiet. <laughs> and still, it, it, it is very important for older people to have pets around. Okay. Right now you see all these pets going into nursing homes, therapy animals, dogs, cats, even ponies. And for older people, it is especially important to have. Now she has a couple old ones. Right. Which is fine because they're gonna be quiet. You know, for her to get a new pup, nah, I wouldn't do that. It's not a good idea. No. She has two corgis, Holly and yes. Willow. They're about 12, as we stated. How long is a lifespan for a corgi? 12 seems a bit old. Mm, no, 12 to about 15. 12 to 15 is normal. Okay. Yes. I have a bulldog, and, and I understand they're a little bit shorter, shorter. lifespan. You know, so. We have the Danes, and they are also short-lived. We have oh. now that's already over 10. Wow. And that's a nice lifespan. Yes. Well, the, the queen has so many rooms in the palace. I'm just picturing the dogs following her room to room. Is the corgi a wandering breed, or does it no. stick with its owner? No, they, they stay with their owner. They uh, are very attuned to what they want, because they are a service dog for the owner, ah. herding dog. So they're always looking at you. What can I do next? What can I do next? Hey, tell me. I want to run. Well, Dr. Paul really knows his stuff. It's kind of sad that she won't be breeding those corgis anymore. I guess Holly and Lilo will be her, her last. Yes, it is sad. Um, there's two different theories as to why she's um, stopping this. Um, the palace haven't put out a statement on this. <laughs> but it's believed that the queen who's 89 is worried about whether she trips over the dogs. The uh, dogs are known as the moving carpet, as Princess Diana <laughs> described them once, uh, because they get under your feet. And at 89, a fall would be quite dangerous for the queen. Absolutely. Um, also, she's quite sentimental and doesn't want to leave the, leave the um, dogs alone if she passes. Right, they really depend on her. She's probably their closest friend being their owner. I mean, she loves dogs. Um, she calls the corgis her family. She's um, had first had a childhood pet, which she shared with her sister Margaret. Oh yes, Dookie, the That's corgi, right. her first. And then later on, she had a, another special she one. She had another one. She was given for her 18th birthday, which was called Susan. And that was a gift from King George, That's is that correct. right? Yes. And then over the years, she's had about 30. At one time, she had a 13-strong pack of corgis. Could you even picture that? I mean, Just the noise in the house. That is a lot of work. A I get lot house. Of work. It's a palace, after all. <laughs> I guess you can stand it. Well, Dan, I can't imagine what it would be like to be the queen's pet. I'm guessing there's some special treatment there for these dogs. 
I mean, these dogs live a royal life. They live, they get chauffeured around everywhere. They go on private planes, meet all the wow. important people, but also they're fed like kings and queens. How so? They get a different menu every day. It wow. can range from chuck steak to rabbit to chicken livers. I mean, they do live a fine life. I want to live like a royal corgi. <laughs> Don't we all? And I understand they are a great PR tool. Look how friendly it makes everyone look. Oh that? yeah, it's a great conversation starter. And um, one of the corgis was actually a star himself and appeared Really? And in the opening ceremony for the Olympics, Monty was in, was in a James Bond spoof. Oh, I bet that was adorable. I can only imagine. Well, that is your royal record for the day. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you for having me.